Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video, doing JMA Friday for today's first video. So, as always, on a Friday, we're having a look at the weather for the month ahead. And it's going to take us into the middle of October. So, uh, we're going to see what the JMA and CFS B2 models are forecasting for the next four weeks. And uh, I'll get on that for you very shortly. Just say that coming up later on this afternoon, we'll have your uh, week 10 day uh, video update. That will include all of the usual features, of course. So, we're going to start off with the uh, JMA 500 millibar height anomalies uh, broken down into week bits from the uh, North Pole view down and the Arctic view down. So this is the North Pole of the uh, Northern Hemisphere just here. And we've got the Arctic uh, around here. And of course, we've got uh, the mid latitudes through there. So uh, blue is extrapolating to below average heights, which is low pressure. Yellow, orange and red extrapolating to above average heights, which is high pressure. Uh, these are broke down into week periods. The first week period will take us from the 20th through to 27th of September. The coming week will have below average heights in the Atlantic and above average heights to our east. This area of below average heights is breaking down the ridge. So essentially this ridge is being pushed eastwards. Uh, it's collapsing as the low pressure heads in from off the Atlantic. So it's a rather transitional week, starting off anticyclonic, but becoming more unsettled as we go along. That's how week two is looking. This one takes us from the 27th of September to the 4th of October. We have an area of above average heights in this week sitting out to our west. The ridge that has given us, given us such a prolonged spell of dry weather through September is over on the eastern side of Europe. There's no particularly evident trough of low pressure, uh, but I think we're probably going to have a trough through here. So we'll be doing something a little bit like that with the flow and uh, with the jet stream, I suspect. So that could be a more unsettled week there as we go into the end of uh, September and the beginning of October. It could be rather cool as well as we bring the winds in from the northwest. And then we're through to week three and four, taking us from the 4th to the 18th of October. And it looks like we're building high pressure back in again, actually, this week. Above average heights returning over and to the east of the country. Below average heights are uh, out in the Atlantic. And uh, we're doing something a bit like that with the jet stream. So if anything, this is probably settling down and could be turning relatively warm again as well through the first half of September. Definite anticyclonic signals. And remember, this is a two-weekly uh, anomaly. So usually these two-week anomalies are a little bit, um, a little bit weaker, uh, if you like, with the signal. This is a fairly strong signal uh, for a two-weekly anomaly. So above-average heights are building in uh, across the country, and it looks like it's setting down and warming up. If anything through the first half of October. This is how the tropical and mid-latitude uh, view looks. So the British Isles are just here in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it on this view. So this is the week one uh, anomaly, of course, taking us from the 20th to 27th of uh, September. The um, North Pole and the Arctic uh, is up here off the chart. You can't see it, but of course, we just had a look at that view down, so we know what's going on. So in the week ahead, we've got the case of low pressure out to our west and high pressure out to the, out to the east. The high pressure is being broken down as the low pressure sort of uh, comes in from the Atlantic with the jet stream. So it's a transitional week becoming more unsettled as we go along. Temperature anomalies are being forecast to be uh, warmer than average, above average temperatures in the week ahead from the 12th to 27th of September. Precipitation anomalies look uh, rather wetter than average quite an unsettled week coming up with above average rainfall for the UK and for Ireland as well. So fairly unsettled, but pretty warm, starting warm anyway, but it does get cooler as we go into next week. Then we're into week two, which is the 27th of September to the 4th of October. The above average heights then are out to our west. There's no particularly evident trough of low pressure, but I would have thought there's likely to be some low pressure around here. Just could be doing something like that. So this could be a cooler and more unsettled week too. The temperature anomaly is still holding up quite well, even now, rather above average, especially so for England and Wales. Still a bit on the unsettled side as well. Not as unsettled as it is in week one, but still generally a little bit average, uh, a little bit above average with a rainfall in this week. And then we're into week three and four, taking us from the 4th to the 18th of October. 
and uh, it looks like the above average high is a high pressure building back in again uh, if anything during this two weekly period with low pressure pos possibly being pushed off up to the north uh, with the jet stream temperature anomalies are average to uh, slightly above average so it looks like it's relatively mild through to the middle of october and it's drying out a bit particularly for england and wales although still rather above average with rainfall for scotland and for northern ireland as well so turns a bit dry down with south in the north still a little bit on the unsettled side with a little bit of influence from the jet stream uh, perhaps uh, so this is FSV2, we'll see how that compares. Again, these are 500 millibar heights, breaking down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 20th to uh, 26th of September, the coming week with northern blocking to our north, below average heights out to the west. Um, some high pressure down across southern Europe as well. So it's a bit different to what the JMA is showing as early as week one, actually, as more in way of uh, high pressure to the north with this. I don't think we have that particularly uh, with uh, with the JMA. So the jet stream is pushed southwards here. It's uh, rather unsettled, to say the least, with low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. Um, probably bring winds in from a southeasterly direction. So it could be relatively warm despite the northern blocking uh, signal, but it does look rather unsettled. Uh, week two is the 27th of September, the 3rd of October, with below average heights over to the east of the country, a large amount of high pressure up to the north, real northern blocking uh, close to Greenland, some high pressure down to our southwest as well, rather complicated pattern, but that looks like it could be a rather cool and unsettled week, uh, I think, with winds possibly coming in from more of a northerly, northeasterly direction, so it looks pretty cool and pretty unsettled there as we aimed at September and go into the beginning of October. We lose that northern blocking in week three. This is before to the 10th of October with below average heights up to our north. Some above average heights starting to extend in from the Atlantic. Just is probably doing something a bit like that. So um, probably a little bit on the cool side, but gradually turning uh, a bit drier, perhaps. And then we get through to week four. It's very similar to what JMA is showing then. Uh, it's the 11th to the 17th of October with above average heights just to our east, but also extending towards our southeast as well, below average heights out of the Atlantic. Jet stream will be doing something like that. So it's being pushed northwards, and we could be starting to draw up some pretty warm air from the south there through the middle of October, maybe hints of a bit of an Indian summer, perhaps, for mid-October. Temperature anomalies in the week ahead from the 20th, 26th of September, warmer than average for the UK and through most parts of Central Europe as well. This does look like quite a warm week coming up. Week two uh, temperature anomalies a lot cooler. It's down to average. So, obviously, there is a drop in temperature taking place there from week one through to week two. Actually, some central parts of Europe are coming out a little bit cooler than average. So that looks like a cooler week as we end September and go into the beginning of October. And week three is also no better than average, really. So four to the tenth of October. It's a little bit, a little bit warmer than average for Scotland, but generally I think we can say uh, weeks two and three with CFS are generally on the cooler side here. I mean, it goes warmer in week four, though. So this is the 11th, 17th of October. And uh, as that high pressure builds in to our south and east, temperatures are picking up quite a bit, getting more than average there. Uh, finally, the precipitation anomalies for CFS V2. So the coming week is, in, is indeed unsettled. This was 20th, 26th of September. Above average rainfall coming up quite significantly. So it's a real change on what we've had in September so far. Uh, week two, not as wet. It's average with precipitation in week two, 27th of September to the 3rd of October. Wetter than average just to our east. Week three, the signal is getting weaker now. This is before to the 10th of October. So we have average precipitation. Um, possibly just on hint of being a bit dry than average. And that goes on into week four as well. But these are very, very weak signals as always. Uh, as always with the CFS in weeks three and four. These are very weak signals, but if anything, possibly just a little bit on the drier than average side of the four at this point as high pressure is building in. So um, 
It's a bit of a mixed bag, actually. Uh, it, there's slight disagreements here in terms of the overall pattern, anyway, as early as week one. But I think we can say that the final sort of week or so of uh, September is likely to be much more unsettled than what we've had before. And although it starts off quite warm, it is going to get cooler uh, as well. So cooler, wetter the trend, I think, as we go into the end of September. Into October, probably starting to see high pressure building back in. I think that's the trend ring between the lines of these two models. So gradually, it looks like we see high pressure beginning to build back in. Certainly by the time we get through to the second week of October, run right up towards the middle of the month, we could be back under a rather big anti-cyclone uh, once again. That's a long way off, though, so uh, we'll see about that. Remember, this is just a snapshot, just an indication of what these models are showing uh, today. They could look very different uh, next week. Any forecast beyond five to seven days is unreliable. Right, so that's it for JMA Friday for today. We'll be back later on with your week's 10-day video update, but that's all for now, and thanks for watching.